There's not a ton you can do with your yard or your garden during the cold winter months, but it does not have to be a total washout. Our gardening guru, Cisco Morris, is here to spruce things up with ornamental grasses in the new year. Come on out, Cisco, and join us. How are you? There you are. <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy New Year. So I didn't actually know there were this many of these ornamental grasses. There's all kinds, right? Yep. And, you know, uh, so a true grass always has a seed like that. So on this whole table, there's only one real grass like right that. there. Yeah, and that's blue oak grass. We'll show how to make that look better at the end. All right, good. Because it's having a bad hair day. That right. one looks like it might be halfway <laughs> one foot in the, you know uh, yeah, what. Um, it'll come back. So there are lots of different types. Let, when they look like this in your yard, are they going to come back later, or is that you're this, done for? That's just what that looks like year-round. Normally? Well, why yeah, would you want to plant too. something that looks well, like it's you dead? Know, you know what I love about this? Everybody that sees it goes, is that dead? Yes, <laughs> of course. But uh, one thing that I love about this is that it has that these cool? little curly cues at the end. This one's really very interesting. I like that. That's red rooster. And these are sedges. Sedges have edges. Rushes around, so this is spiral so rush have, right here. I love you know, this one with this Isn't I've never cool? seen this before. It's really a cool plant, but one thing bad about it, it'll take it over. Sticks. It'll take over your whole garden if you're not looking. So I put this in a pot or something because okay. it spreads from underground. It's not from seed. Would it be a good thing to put in a pot over the winter when other things can't yeah, live out there? Yeah, yeah, because it'll look so cool it does. out that there. That looks very you know? cool by itself. Put a little stones or something yeah, around it, it'll yep. be gorgeous. Now these are the ones I've seen more often in people's lawns. What Can they stay like this all year long? You yeah, you them? know, they look fantastic out there in your garden and all winter they look great, but in spring a lot of times they look like grad dude, they're just beat to tweedle. Mm -hmm. So uh, the simple thing to do, I'll do it to this guy, because that happens to this too, it looks deader than a doornail. You, you very Whoa. gently <laughs> Very gently hack it. This is hurting you more than me, buddy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, that's pretty. You could use this in, a, in an arrangement. Yeah, yeah, and a lot of people do, and this will come right back yeah, and again. And that's all you do. You just chop it off. Yep. And just uh, above the ground. I was going to say, this is one of these new Everglows. It'll get this big. This is Golden Glow. That's that really pretty. That one's variegated Everglow. So right. They're really nice. And this one's almost has almost oh. a blue tinge to it. That's really pretty. Blue zinger. And blue it zinger. spreads really nice. So yeah. think if you had red stepping stones mm -hmm. or you just had an area where you want a blue and then have a lot of yellow grasses in there growing up above them, something like That's that. That's beautiful. Really neat. And you've brought this one that has its roots exposed. Yeah. It looks almost it, like an air plant. The roots are so well, small. This is that favorite plant on earth of mine. Black mondo grass. I know this is so weird. And you know this is uh, this is in the lily family. Huh. It's not a grass at all. But here's the thing. It looks like it's been spray painted. It's such an uh, odd isn't look. Isn't it the coolest plant you ever saw? And you know the interesting thing. You know what you'd pay for this right here about twenty bucks. Yikes. And here's the easy thing. I dug that up this morning. You and just it has a little root there. Now that you've got a whole new colony oh. starting right there, and in no time, they're so easy to Whoops. divide. Look, now oh, we there's have another colonies. division. <laughs> <laughs> so I couldn't these, hang on to it. So just buy one for twenty bucks, and you'll have. I, it's all over my garden, but it's my favorite plant. So if you have a little piece like this, and you want it to fill in a space, how much space will that fill once well, it starts uh, growing? This year, it's like, it'll get twice as big as that. Okay. But uh, that's all. But then the next year, it'll send out some more of these little guys. It'll start coming out here, so coming out. So yeah, in five years, you'll have a huge clump. That is really quite amazing. Yeah. Okay, can we plant, you mentioned this one could go in a pot. Can we plant this now if All we want to? All these you could plant right now. This is cappuccino. Isn't that beautiful when well, you look close? Okay, when I look close, yes, <laughs> it looks orange. I... But honestly, I would just, it would bother me. It would make me think that it wasn't alive. Oh, but it's, it actually is so pretty. Oh, I want to show you one thing if there's time. There's and, time. So this is blue oat grass. And, and we move our, our yeah, favorite spiral so one over. Here, I'll let you do this, but I'll just show you once. Kay. So in the spring, it gets really beat up, but it's a beautiful blue grass. Mm -hmm. It'll get like this big. I like it. And uh, so what you got to do is get these gloves with a rubber on the front. All right. And you just go in there 
Oh, and you just kind of yeah, strip and it, it out the You won't dead pull ones. the blue. You'll just pull the bad ones. And it only takes, like, in five hours, you'll have this perfect. <laughs> this sounds like so uh, much fun. But um, uh, So how, what's the best way? Let's say we're going to put some of these in now because they're going to look nice now. How do we take care of them? Where are they best situated? Well, you know, that's the big thing. Like, uh, this doesn't want to be too dry, okay. you know. Well, that's never a problem. <laughs> yep, that has to almost sit in water, although it's fine wow. in a pot. But, uh, I'm for sure going to do this because I have some empty pots that just have rocks sitting in them right now around the house. Yeah, it's really I mean, cool. right outside the house. And uh, this has to have full sun. So each one has its particular thing. Mm -hmm. This Belinda's fine. I love this That's plant. That's really pretty with the pink. It's so pretty. You know, I always want to go out there and pet it. I talk to this guy a lot. I bet you lot. do, don't you? <laughs> go out there and speak and to it. This only gets about twice as big at the most, and it just goes. But in spring... It gets the big haircut, you know. To, right. So read the instructions. When read you get the it instructions. About where they should yeah, be. Yeah, because uh, and these, you know, they say these go in shade, but they're out in my border, out in the sunshine, yeah. and they just glow. We so. have a neighbor that has a bunch of those, and they're not in shade, and they do just fine. Yeah. So I so don't know what the, the secret is to that. Sometimes you gotta break that. the rules a little just bit. Just a little. You, know? you can experiment. Experiment with one <laughs> or two. Don't, don't invest it, in the whole yard. Know? <laughs> and so are these best bought at a, a fairly expansive nursery I where you'll have you a choice? I think you want to go to a high quality nursery because you'll get a lot more choice, you know. And this is a time of year you want to be adding some of these into your garden. But the nice thing is after, I'll probably cut this down if it doesn't look good in the spring. When it comes back, it'll just glow and be so pretty. And the fine texture is so nice next to something with bold texture. Yes. So I love like broad that leaf the of combination. Some sort. Yeah. I love it when you're excited. I'm excited <laughs> when you're excited. Thank